Let's dig into the case of the emerald ash borer. Emerald is the color of this bothersome bug that is a bright metallic green. Ash is the type of tree they attack, and borer is what they do. They lay eggs under the bark of these trees, and their white larva bodies bore into the tree with maze-like tracks that kill the tree from the inside. Their activity disrupts the tree's ability to transport water and other nutrients. This is the bark of an ash tree, and where an ash tree is infected, you will often see its bark filled with small D-shaped exit holes. Why the letter D? Well, the emerald ash borer was discovered in the Detroit area of Michigan. Detroit. It's true. Scientists identified this Asian beetle in 2002, believing it might have found a hideaway in some shipping material inside packing crates bound for an automotive plant a few years earlier. D for Detroit. No, that's not why. D is the shape of their fully grown body. They have a round belly and a flat back. There's the belly, there's the back. Hmm, hmm, pretty tiny. Emerald ash borer are really fairly small, less than a half an inch long. This is a photo of me holding this small vial with one inside. If you peel back the bark of an infected ash tree, you can see the damage they leave behind. Within two years, the tree is as good as dead. Even though the emerald ash borer is not much bigger than a fly, they have killed millions and millions of ash trees. Scientists estimate they have been responsible for the destruction of more than 50 million trees in North America. The emerald ash borer started in Michigan, then moved throughout the Midwest and Eastern Canada. For example, they found their way from Detroit to Windsor, right across the border, in 2002. Toronto in 2007, Ottawa in 2008, and Montreal in 2009. The ash borer is now found in more than 35 states and all through eastern Canada. Now, the emerald ash borer flies a distance of only about a half a mile, less than a kilometer per year. So how has the ash borer traveled as far as it has? In 20 years, it should be less than 20 kilometers, or only about 10 miles from its original location. How did it get so far from Michigan? Here's your answer. Firewood. Campers taking firewood across state lines across borders. In fact, when you travel from the lower peninsula in Michigan to the upper peninsula, the UP, you'll see a sign shortly before the Mackinac Bridge that says, no firewood allowed into the UP. It actually could say, no emerald ash borer allowed. That's what that sign is talking about. Here's an example of the damage caused by this little critter. In the city of Toronto, there were nearly a million ash trees before the arrival of the emerald ash borer. A decade later, there were less than 10,000. So a tiny insect can cause big trouble. The emerald ash borer attacks all species of ash, except for mountain ash, which is not a true ash species. This exotic beetle is actually a threat to Major League Baseball. How? Think Louisville Slugger. That's right. For years, most baseball bats were made from northern white ash. So the emerald ash borer is big trouble for baseball, or should I say bug trouble. With the potential threat of the insect getting closer and closer to the source forest of the famous bats manufacturer, plans are now being made to utilize other woods. Let's hope they don't strike out. In North America, the ash borer could ultimately have a disastrous impact, eventually threatening to kill most of the continent's 8 billion ash trees. Control efforts are only partially effective. Typically, agencies will quarantine a certain area, removing any infected trees to reduce the likelihood of spread. Insecticides have limited effectiveness, and because direct injection into each tree is required, insecticide treatments are not feasible for large forested areas. An Asian wasp has been used as a biological control agent, but of course that requires the introduction of another species. What's ironic is ash trees were long seen as a suitable replacement for the American elm. What happened to elm trees? 
You may have heard of Dutch elm disease, which was responsible for killing 75% of the estimated 75 million trees in North America. But that's another story for another time. I hope you've liked what I've shared. Please subscribe to my channel to follow more cases of invasive species. And as always, thanks for watching.